Hey guys, what's up? So two or maybe three days ago, I was planning to make a video about should we invest on Huawei smartphones given the history of them getting banned by Trump months ago. And I had the whole video planned out, and then this happened. Google made it clear that the Huawei Mate 30 Pro will not be getting full-on Android support. And I said full-on Android support because Huawei can still use the open-source Android version, but that's no good for a $1100 phone. I mean, right? Maybe it can work in a $100, $200 phones, but in $1100 open-source Android, that makes no sense. Because of the fact that Huawei was placed in the Trump's entity list a couple of months ago, that's why Google cannot license their software and apps to the Chinese tech giant. Some time back, Huawei gave a statement that they are planning to use Android on the Mate 30 Pro and as a plan B, they have developed the Harmony OS and are improving it every single moment. Well, seems like Huawei's nightmare did come true and they will now have to resort to the plan B, the Harmony OS. We haven't seen the full potential of the Harmony OS but I have some obvious doubts that how will it fight against the Android ecosystem. Even if Harmony OS turns out to be good, there is still the question of not getting Google applications, most important being YouTube, Play Store, Maps and Chrome. You might live without all of these and I can train myself to live without most of these but without YouTube, you can imagine, I can't live a day without it. Because Huawei has now been removed from the USA blacklist, they might still be able to get the American applications like Facebook, Insta, Twitter, WhatsApp, so that's not a big concern right now. But maybe if in future if they get banned once again, that might be a problem in that time. And in spite of that, you will find less applications on Huawei smartphones as compared to Android ecosystem. Because there will be some applications who will fail to get license to work with Huawei and the general concern of app developers not willing to work with new operating systems. The smartphone itself is no doubt one of the best smartphones, the camera is going to be super amazing, I am excited to see that and overall the hardware is going to be top notch, with a small notch, pun intended. It's the software which might hold it back. What if it turns out like Samsung using TouchWiz on Galaxy Note 10? Boy, that would suck. Analysts have said that Huawei will have some major sales drop outside the Chinese region and will no longer be able to hold the number 2 spot for any long. Let me know guys, would you spend $1100 on a phone without any Google services? I might think about it if they can at least find a way to get YouTube on it, because without this, I'm done. Make sure to subscribe for more videos about the Huawei's fate, hit the like button if you enjoyed and as always, I'll see you tomorrow.